Red Voyage News, Splash in the check-in. Thank you for tuning in. Now, I remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a story on a woman in Kentucky who was arrested for having sex with a middle school student she was tutoring. Now we're going to Florida with it. Wayne McKenzie Ricks II, 29 years old, this is his mugshot right here, was caught having sex with a 16-year-old student at his high school that he was teaching at. He's a teacher. Now, what did I tell you about these young teachers that they hire at these high schools? Okay. In my opinion, I think all high school teachers need to be over, over the age of 50, and you cannot have a, a, a pants waistline, nothing less than a 40. Okay. Your waistline has to be a 40 or above, and you have to be over the age of 50 in order to teach at a high school. And here's a guy right here. I mean, he, he looks like he's damn near a high school student himself. You know, you hire some of these teachers that they're not removed. They haven't removed themselves. They're not far removed from the high school lifestyle just yet. Okay. You've been in class. You've been in school, you know, being young, wild, and free from the age of five. Well, if you went to preschool from the age of four to 18, right? Then you go off to university and you do the same high school-ish all over again. So basically from four to about 22 or 23 years old. And uh, this guy didn't even learn his lesson because in 2019, he was brought up on charges for uh, sending a text message, sending a photo of a, of a, a new picture of himself to another student at a high school. But the charges were dropped. This recently just happened again, the same guy, you know, when it comes to nude photos coming from men to a student, I'm pretty sure it's just not photos of your, your core, your chest area or your feet. No, you're sending your Peter Griffith to another woman. I mean, to, to a young girl, excuse me. You know, I hate to sound graphic, but I mean, that's what it is. You're sending your private parts to another student and you just got away with it by the skin of your teeth. And now you're back on the BS. And let me tell you, when I, when you read this story, this dude was loose with it. This man did not give a damn. Okay. This dude was a special education teacher and boys, junior varsity basketball coach. At first I'm like, man, come on now. Come on. You know, don't, don't tell me you was having sex. What a special ed student. You know, I is I don't I don't want to believe that. They didn't say that she was in special ed. But and this is what I'm talking about. Twenty nine years old. This woman, this young girl is sixteen years old. They're at that age where somebody thirteen years older than them is is not looked at as disgusting like that. You see, when you have a teacher who's over the age of fifty in a 45 waist with skin tags all over his neck, you have nothing to worry about. You know, a, a young, you know, hold on, let me stop. Splash, stop, stop. Okay, I'm going to stop. All right. This dude was arrested late Tuesday. So this is recent on 10 counts of custodial sexual battery dating back to last fall. This dude, basically, he would he had a the 16 year old girl. He would take her into a classroom and her friends were in the classroom present while he would take her into a closet and have sex with her. And they asked her friends, like how many times did you witness this? And they said on 10 different occasions, we knew exactly that they were having sex. I'm not lying. Another student and friend of the victim would be present in the classroom at the time and recalled observing the two walking to the closet to have sex on about 10 occasions. This dude was loose. This man did not give a damn. He even met up with her off campus and took her to Universal Studios in Orlando during his Halloween Horror Nights special event. And Ricks gave the girl more than 20 handwritten notes. I mean, that's on some Tiger Woods shit right there. That's worse than Tiger Woods. Remember Tiger Woods? <laughs> he left a voice message and then the voice message, the, the woman released the voice message on the internet. Uh, hello. Yes, this this is Tiger. Um, Can you please like 
delete the messages I sent to you because, you know, my wife, she's, you know, this is on some Tiger Woods shit right here. You giving the woman handwritten notes like it's 1999. And the notes were detailing their illicit relationship. Was this, are, are you sure this man was a special ed teacher or was he a special ed student? You know, it takes one to know one. Ricks and the girl allegedly spoke on the phone for more than 80 times during a one month span between December and January. How the fuck do you have all this time in the world to call a 16 year old 80 times in a month? And and excuse my language, part of my language, but I'm pissed off because it's like, this is what I'm talking about. This guy's 29, but mentally he's still in high school. That's what that's what I did in high school when I was 14, 15 years old. I would stay up and talk on the phone to to a girl for hours until five, six o'clock in the morning. And, you know, you know, and and I I don't, you know, they don't mention the young girl's name as, and they shouldn't, but it seems to me that woman, that young girl probably didn't have a father in her life. You know, you, you have, uh, probably, you know, I'm just assuming this is my theory. The young girl probably comes from a broken home, single mother household with a mother is probably out working too much and neglecting the daughter. Then this article goes on to say he also showered the team with gifts, including shoes, clothing and exercise equipment. Cops said, and they said that his annual uh, salary was $41,000. They use this word showered way too loosely in this article, all right, you can't shower nobody only making $41,000 in a year. I mean, you can probably get a bunch of shit off the clearance rack and pay less, you know, at Walmart. But you ain't showering nobody with, like, extravagant gifts. They made it sound like, I mean, this dude was, like, balling out of control, you know, buying a pair, buying a buying a sixteen year old girl ten pair of Shaq Diesels. I mean that that ain't that ain't really showering. It's just you know. But anyways, so what do y'all think, man? I mean, to me, this just stinks to high heaven. I mean, the guy is slow. The guy is slow. It's like you work, shit, eat, and do your dirt in the same place. I mean, you shouldn't have been doing it at all, but you you, you had the audacity to do it at the school in a closet in front of her friends. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting this video off right now. Like, subscribe, comment, share this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm over and I'm out. Peace.